What's up gearheads? Welcome back to the channel. So today I am detailing a longtime customer of ours, their Lexus SC430. I have this beautiful specimen behind me. Right now I am just clay barring the entire car. I'm then going to move to a cutting compound, then to a polish, do a jeweler's wax, and then do a final um, hand waxing on the car. I'm also going to be touching up like minor scratches and stuff with some wet sanding. Yeah. Let's get this thing rolling. This is considered like a quick detail. If we were to really grind down on the car, we would obviously wet sand the entire car, but I will not be doing that. I'm gonna kind of just do spots. I'm not gonna wet sand the entire car in this video. To start, like I said, I have my Meguiar's Quick Wax and my clay bar, and I'm just literally spraying some quick wax on, rubbing it all down with the clay bar, and then I'm gonna move to a cutting compound. And just as the clay bar gets dirty, you wanna just fold it and knead it. And I'll show you really quick. Hold on, this is gonna take me a second. Sorry for the boob shot. But now it's nice and clean, so we can keep clay barring. So for those of you that don't know, um, this clay bar basically acts as like a sponge and picks up all the dirt that's stuck into the paint. It's a sticky compound, so the dirt likes to just get kind of sucked up into it, stick to it and get pulled out of the paint. So as you're going along, you're just going to, as your clay bar gets dirty, just stretch it and knead it. For those of you that don't know what kneading is, if you've never baked anything before, like a pie, um, you basically just wanna stretch it out fold it over on itself and then smush it together and pull it back apart. So as I'm doing this, I try to use the clay bar in a singular direction. It's not a big deal if you move in a different direction, but I try to just keep it even so I don't create any more scratches on the car. And then on top of that, I try to work from the top down as much as possible. And obviously, like the bottom of the car is going to have a lot more dirt on it. And I don't want to be bringing that up onto the top of the car and creating more scratches. It's kind of like washing the car. It's better to work from the top and work your way down. This paint actually isn't too bad, which is why I'm not wet sanding the entire car. But you can hear as you're clay barring it the it, it'll be like kind of noisy at first i don't think you're going to be able to hear it on camera because i don't have a great mic yet i have actually a new mic coming in this week but it'll kind of make like a, a grindy noise like a gritty kind of noise as the clay bar picks up more and more stuff uh it won't make it won't like sound um like sandpapery anymore so just if you guys don't know what you're doing, I'm just trying to help for people that don't know. This is probably redundant for a lot of people. If you're into cars, you detail your car a lot. But yeah, I'm gonna keep working. This is probably gonna be the worst part. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear this on camera, but this is kind of the noise it makes when it like you first start clay barring the car. I'm gonna try and find a bad spot. Down here will probably be pretty bad. And then like as um, it gets better, like if I were to do up here, it's not gonna make that noise anymore. I don't know if you guys can hear that too well, but it doesn't make that gritty grindy sound. That's kind of when you know that you've gotten all the dirt up out of the paint. So I just got the front bumper done. Um, as you guys can already tell, this thing already looks better. Um, I have the hood done, both fenders done, and the front bumper done. So now I'm going to move down to like the doors and the roof, and then I'll work on the back from there. 
Earlier I was talking about wet sanding a couple spots. It's like scratches like this. This is just in the clear coat. It's not down into the base color. So I'm probably gonna be able to get this out with some wet sanding, make it look at least a little bit better. Obviously, whoops. Stuff like this um, is down actually through the base color, so I'm not gonna be able to get something like this out. You can kind of usually tell if you can get it with wet sanding or not with your fingernail. Like you can hear my fingernail going through that. I'm not gonna be able to get that out, but something like this, I will be able to get out with wet sanding. So another prime example, I'm gonna be able to get this out with wet sanding. My fingernail doesn't catch in it. So I will definitely be able to get that out as well. The roof is dirtier than the front bumper. That's kind of surprising. All right, I'm gonna move over to the other side of the car. Actually, I'm gonna do the mirror first and this door, so I'm done with this side. The whole purpose of the quick wax is just for the clay bar to not get stuck to the car just to make the clay bar glide around the car because like if you don't have quick wax on there um, it'll literally just stick to the car so if you find yourself the clay bar is sticking you should really have no friction just add a little bit more quick wax and you should be good the door actually went pretty quick basically the paint on this car isn't terrible if there's a bad area i probably go over it like three to five times with the clay bar the door there were parts i only had to really go over once the whole thing i pretty much went over twice and then the, like the bottom of the door which is obviously a high dirt traction area i had to go over that about three times so doors really aren't too bad i'm gonna go move to the other side now do want to apply um, not a ton of pressure because you're gonna wear yourself out honestly it's not that it's gonna hurt the car you're just gonna wear your arms out if you're applying a ton of pressure you do want to apply some pressure though usually on like heart you know bad areas I'll apply a little bit more pressure and then if it's like a not so bad area I'll just let the clay bar um, do all the work for me This side of the car went way faster, but I'm gonna see how long each time lasts. <laughs> Taking a coffee break. Well, this is tea, but so same thing. It is absolutely downpouring outside right now. Okay, back to work. So just so you guys know, these clay bars are kind of like chewing gum. Um, at first, they're kind of really hard to knead and um, stretch, but as you use them more, they do get like dewier. But over time, they do kind of dry out and get hard, and they will pick up obviously like more and more dirt from the cars. So over time, you're gonna wanna eventually replace these. Um, I do know like I store these in a plastic baggie because if I just leave them out on the counter, they will kind of dry out faster, but you can use these several times. Um, you can use them on multiple cars. But eventually down the road, you do want to replace these. You don't want to just keep using the same one over and over and over again too many times. actually pretty funny is I used to work at Herb Chambers Lexus and Sharon and I used to get all the parts for this car um, I do all like the price quotes I was in parts so I would do all the price quoting get on the technicians his parts and now this guy is a customer of ours and I work on his car he no longer brings it to Herb Chambers Lexus I fix his car which is pretty funny we fix his car I should say 
All right, so I got the whole back side of the car done. Every, everything's done except the side skirts. I basically saved those for last because I figured they were gonna be pretty dirty. So I'm gonna go do those really quick and then we're gonna start heading into the buffing compound. Those side skirts were super dirty. I pretty much ruined my clay bar. The car's been sitting. We have like a dirt parking lot out here. We do have like a concrete slab, but then it goes out into a dirt parking lot. Just from the car sitting over the past few days and it raining and stuff, it ended up splattering the side skirts all with like mud and dirt. And obviously that got picked up by the clay bar. So I have now like sand and dirt on the clay bar. It's pretty bad. I don't think I really would use it on another car just because I don't want to take that stuff and scratch it into the paint. Car honestly already looks so much better. I can't wait to see the final product when we get buff and compound done and polished on and everything. It, you can tell like the paint is totally already brightened and looks so much better already. I'm also just gonna call it a night. It's like 10 o'clock at night now. So I'm just gonna pick this back up tomorrow with the, um, the buffing compound and then we're gonna move into polish and wax and everything, so.